Hi everybody, this is David, the Timeless Runner, and I am back again today to do some real-time video on stretches that you can use for the relief of piriformis and sciatica. I have, for the last year and a half or so, had pretty significant bout of sciatica down my left side, and I've learned over that time that there are certain poses that I can do that will provide relief for the sciatica and the piriformis. Piriformis is a muscle that runs from your tailbone to your outer hip, and through it or around it will pass the sciatic nerve. If that piriformis becomes inflamed from running or from other activities, then it will put pressure on the sciatic nerve and cause pain to go down your leg. So this is a series of short poses that I'm going to do today to show you what I have found to be effective for both relieving the pain and for preventing it in the future. So I'm going to start out on the mat today in a child's pose. In a child's pose, you put your feet together behind you, extend your hands out, and put your forehead down on the mat. And gradually, just let your butt sink back down towards your ankles. You'll feel the stretch in the lower back. So much of what we call uh, piriformis is actually back problems. Some things that are we think are back problems are piriformis. In the short, everything is interconnected. So you really want to start by warming up your lower back and your hips so that the stretches will be easier and more effective. So starting out in the child's pose is a good way to do that. And then transitioning from the child's pose to tabletop position where your shoulders, your hands are, are shoulder width apart, your knees are hip length apart. And we're going to do some cat and cow together. This is another warm up exercise. The cat, you put your chin up and squeeze your shoulder blades together. I'm sorry, cow. And then the cat, you arch your back and tuck your chin into your chest. So in essence, what you're doing is flexing your spine by repeating the poses. Just doing a series of easy stretches on the back and the shoulders. And again, warming up the muscles as we do this. From the tabletop position there are a lot of options. One of the strengthening moves that I'll show you are the uh, fire hydrants which is where you're going to just lift your leg up to the outside. Remembering to breathe as you do these. And as you do it, you should feel the outside of your glute start to stretch out. And in yoga, what we do on one side, we always do on the other. So again, want to work both sides of the body regardless. Sciatica is usually felt on one side only. So you either have it on the left or the right. I have it on the left, but do it on both sides. A variation on that is what's called clamshells. And again, these are all exercises to build up the muscle in the area of the piriformis. A clamshell is simply using your legs to mimic the action of a clamshell. Just opening and closing them. If you have a wall that you can lean against as you do this, this will keep you honest, keep you from preventing uh, over rotation of the shoulders trying to help the leg up. So we want to focus right on that area in the glute. That is one of those, uh, this is one of those exercises that engages that piriformis, stretching it out and also strengthening it. A lot of times what we have when we have 
pain or inflammation is because of weakness, not because of overuse. So the muscle just atrophies a little bit or gets weak and then it gets inflamed and that causes more problems. So again, we do them on both sides. I will usually do a hundred in a set, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna do about 20 or 25 on each side. Again, if you have a wall that you can lean against, it's a much more effective way to do this stretch and strengthening exercise. I know a lot of people like to listen to music as they do this. I don't have any issues with people wearing headphones. Obviously I'm not because I'm talking today, but find something that works for you as you do these. If you do like to listen to the music in your ears, such as uh, if you're in a gym or something, or if you're in a house, just uh, play your Alexa or whatever it is that you use for music and put on something that motivates you. All right, from there, there are a couple of rotational exercises that can be done for piriformis. The first is to sit upright, point your toes outward, and then rotate your knees side to side. And again, you're going to feel a stretch primarily in the outside of the hips as you do this. And this is one that I find to be particularly effective for me in mitigating the issues with piriformis or sciatica. When you get to a point where you want to stop, just uh, rest down over the side to one knee. Again, you're going to feel the stretch in the glute. And then do a couple more and then stretch to the other side. typically stretch out a little bit of the glute and then we have a thing to build core strength because as with anything else core strength plays a role in any of the weakness that we have particularly in the hips and in the glutes so we can do an exercise called bridges or reverse bridges actually where you just lay on your back with your knees up and then just Raise your stomach up, making an arch with your back. And that's going to work your core muscles and your hips and your lower back muscles. And again, I usually do about 40 or 50 of these in the morning. I'm not going to do all of them today just for the purpose of the video. And then there's a variation on that where you can put your hands behind you and do a reverse tabletop. Again, engaging the core, remembering to breathe as you do these. Again, what we're looking at is working the area of the glutes the lower back and the core. And then lastly, I'm going to show you a couple of effective stretches again for the outside of the hips and the glutes. We start with the reclining pigeon pose. I usually start by pushing out on the knee. Gently, of course, we don't want to dislocate a knee. From there, you transition into lifting the opposite knee. You'll feel the stretch in the butt as you do this. And then we can fold the knee inward again, stretching all in this area. Extend the leg down, hook our toes behind our knee and rotate over to the side. 
you really should feel a good stretch all in here as you do this. And once again, we're going to do it on the opposite side as well. I'll typically do three sets of three each as I do these. First pushing away on the knee and interlocking my fingers, lifting up on the knee. Good idea to hold these for about 20 seconds each. And that's where you get the maximum effect from the stretch. Hold our knee towards the side. And we're stretching in here now. Get the knee out and rotate over for a deeper stretch. And the last thing I like to do is a thing called nerve uh, flossing. That's where you're going to pick your leg up straight out. Push your heel up towards the sky. I could say that I'm outside. And then put your toe down, point it downward as you move your toe towards the ground. Push up with the heel. Push down with the toe pointing away from you. And what this does is it moves the sciatic nerve back and forth in its channel or canal tries to create room for the nerve so that none of the other muscles or tendons are pushing on it. So you're basically moving it back and forth like you're flossing your teeth. And I will typically do anywhere between 10 and 20 of those on each side. And this does in fact provide a lot of relief if you haven't tried it yet and you do have sciatica that's caused by piriformis and please try this you'll find it very very helpful and last thing today before we call it a day we're going to do just a simple cross the, the leg over hug it with our opposite arm and lean forward as we twist again this is something that will Stretch the outside of your hip. And the opposite side as well. And there you have it. It's basically a very short morning routine. You can lengthen it uh, by doing more reps on the poses, holding the stretches longer as you work up. I will typically do somewhere between 15 and 25 minutes of yoga every morning. Most of them again are found in the YouTube shorts under yoga with the timeless runner. Please uh, check those out. Please like and subscribe the videos if you do. I really appreciate that keeps me motivated to go and do these every day. This is actually over 600 days that I've done at least 10 minutes of yoga each day. So hopefully you can get on a comparable program. Hey, thanks for uh, watching. I'll see you soon.